New tonight, the 40th annual Endless Mountains Maple Festival returned, kicking off its festival season here in the Twin Tiers. Our 18 News reporter Sharif D. King was there and has more. He joins us now live in studio. Good evening, Sharif. Good evening, Sarah. It was a fun time at the Troy Fairgrounds from start to finish, and the signature events from this two-day event, including the monster trucks, the lawnmower races, and the demolition derby, took the synergy to a new level this weekend. The Maple Extravaganza provided two days of sweetness to the Twin Tiers, delivering a taste of what the summer events will be like. Kind of like a mini fair. We have rides, we have games. Um, we've had a monster truck show yesterday. Today we have a demolition derby. We've had goat shows here. People travel far and long to partake in the Maple festivities. People are coming from all over. We don't just see the locals, we see people from all over the place. We've had people from Philadelphia call and want to camp and come up to the event. Organizers of this event share why the food has become a popular attraction during this time of the year. People are often looking to locate the pancakes as they arrive on the Troy Fairgrounds. That is under the grandstand, and of course, that's made, we make them here. Everything's fresh, and we use local maple syrup. The Demolition Derby is still a new event to the Maple Festival and has drawn a bigger crowd this year. This is our second year doing the Maple Festival. Um, so this year is bigger than it was last year. Um, but for the Troy Fair, we fill the grandstands. There's overflow. The Derby is not just a fun sport to watch, it also supports a charity. We do this as it's a major fundraiser for the Lions Club of Sylvania. And uh, ultimately, it's to help them better themselves for the families that they help every year. Avon says having more people in the stands for the Derby proves that they're doing exactly what they set out to do, and the goal going forward is to make it a more family-oriented show as they grow. We're a big family, and I just want people to come back and keep supporting the Lions Club. There's never a dull moment at the Maple Festival. Now that this event has wrapped, all the time will go into preparing for the Troy Air Fair beginning July 25th through the 30th. Live in the studio. Tree D. King, 18 News.